said before, you can't do that. Conor McGregor, you cannot disrespect black women. You can't disrespect black people, period. You know, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Like I said before, you know, um, you look at my security team, you look at my staff. If I had my staff come over here right now, I'm like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? But anything that I've been through, it's a learned experience. And any fan that I didn't take a picture with or I didn't sign an autograph for, I apologize. You know, you don't think I want to take a picture with all those fans? I want to sign autograph, sign autographs for all those fans? I, I absolutely, I absolutely do. But I can't. I, if that's the case, we'll be here two and three nights. But I appreciate the fans, the MMA fans. I appreciate the MMA fans. I appreciate the boxing fans. And the fans that's not MMA fans or boxing fans, just a casual fan that I took from Dancing with the Stars or I took from the WWE. I had a game plan. I put this fight together. And will we surpass the Pacquiao fight? One thing I can say is hopefully so. Do I believe we are? I, I do believe we, we can do it. But how do you think I feel when we have everybody now st still in the fight on social media, you know, streaming the fight, you know, how do you think my daughter feel? How do you think, you know, my two daughters feel or my two sons feel? That's no different from when I see people on the corner selling bootleg Floyd Mayweather shirts. I, 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 sometimes I stop and get what I'm saying. I roll up with it and I say, you, you want to take money out of my kid's mouth like that? Like that? That's no different from me going to somebody, your wife's pocketbook and taking money out. Taking the rent money out. Because one thing I don't have, I got a lot of problems. But money is not one of my problems. And, and, and like I said, I would never disrespect Conor McGregor's wife or his child. I didn't say he disrespected my daughter. And yesterday he got in my, the mother of my daughter's the mother of my daughter's face. Oh. Not my daughter's, because, you know, one girl I have three children with, and I have a, a, another girl, another woman, that has my daughter. But I, I've been known her 21 years. Both of my children and mother, I've been known them 21 years. And they say everything, they say everything they want to say about me. Talk about the good things that I do. Like when I, when I feed the homeless, you never see that front page. I see that front page. Or, or the story about how I took Linda Ellaby and the kid was only making, he left a six-figure pair job in Washington, Washington D.C., came to Las Vegas, he was getting four, five, six thousand here and there, and I made him a multi-million. Oh, how I got with Al Heyman and put it together, and now we have 300 fighters. Those are the things that we don't talk about that I do, you know, or how Mayweather has been keeping boxing alive. These are things that we don't talk about. And I have to let the world know, I gave Al Hammer my word. I shook his hand and gave him a hug. I told him, this is my last fight. I don't really sit back and think about, but I'm on stage, I'm really thinking about the position that I'm in. For me to wake up, and then spin the globe. I remember how I was spin the globe and say, I want to go here. I've never been here. I want to go here. And I want to go here. I appreciate my staff. They work hard. You know, I can call my chef at any time. Three in the morning, four in the morning. My kids call it three and four in the morning. Sometimes she sit at my house and cook meal, different meals all day. I appreciate her. She deserves to get extras. And she know I make sure she get extras. She deserves it. Everybody deserves to get extras, if you with me. You know, and when everybody was going against me, a lot of times people would be like, oh, uh, Floyd Height. Floyd Height gave me a chance when everybody was going against me. So a lot of times when everybody, when everybody is going against you, nobody gave you a fair chance. I was never scared of, I was never scared of, I was never scared of many back here. But 
Williams. And I've never said that he took anything. All I'm going to say is this. When certain pieces from Manny Pacquiao team left his team, he was no longer fighting himself. That's all I'm going to say. He's going to fight his heart out. He's going to fight his heart out. I know he's going to fight his heart out. How many punches is he going to land on you? I can't say. Remember, I'm a lot older. So this, I'm not the same Floyd Mayweather that I was when I was 19, I was 25, when I was 30. I'm not even the same fighter I was two years ago. You know, now I got these guys. They give me work in a boxing gym. They give me good work. They're like, oh, yeah. Then, then, you, then they're like, oh, I want to fight Floyd Mayweather. Just because you gave me good work in the gym or you may gave me a bloody nose because I just got back into boxing and I'm getting my rhythm back and I'm an old man. Remember, he, the fighters that give me good work in the gym, if you want to be world champion in a boxing gym, more power to you. You guys are the world champion in the boxing gym. It only counts under the lights and for a real check. I don't think this was going to go 12. <laughs> well, what's your score? Even, I mean, in this, it's kill or be killed. And I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's kill or be killed. And I mean it. And I look at you guys, you, know, you can look at me in my eyes. I really mean it. Either he going to get me or I'm going to get him. You change your style or? Either he going to get me or I'm going to get him. But remember, he, he, yesterday he just talked about dressing. Now remember, remember this. You guys already know I was wearing custom suits from way back when. I was wearing custom suits from way I mean, far back. I was flashy with the minks and all that years ago. But remember, when I tell y'all, racism still exists. When I did it, you know what they said? He's arrogant, he's ungrateful, he's too flashy. But then when he go do it, they like, oh, we love him. Remember, this kid, he's a fan of mine. Sometimes we have to fight our fans. <laughs> so now we got to fight our fans. I can't really say it. I don't really know. But I, I'm not getting upset, but he's upset. Yeah, I was going to say, you're noticing that. I, I, I'm the best at this. Mm -hmm. I wrote the book on this. Remember, I wrote, the, I wrote the blueprint on this. Remember, I'm not a stage fighter. I don't fight for free. I do it for the real one. Mm -hmm. I do it for nine figures. I don't do it for free. I could have stayed in boxing and fought for, uh, I don't want to, I could have fought for 30, I could keep fighting for 35 million each fight. But why do that? I don't want to do that when I could do it for the large number, for the big number. And I ain't got to throw no specific number out there. Everybody already know. I'm A-OK. -okay. You know, I didn't have to take this fight, but I wasn't stupid. You know, I've, we all have done some foolish things in our life, but I'm not a damn fool. <laughs>